Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Kuala Lumpur. Lee and I are having a great time and tonight, very special place in my heart. Of course, one of the constituent cuisines that I love so much about Kuala Lumpur is the extreme amount of delicious Indian food. Today we are looking for Southern Indian food. And at night, all the action is in places, hello, places like this. I just took one pass down this uh, this alleyway here and a waft of air just brought the most delicious smells and I cannot resist. We are going down here. Okay, they still have a nighttime selection. We're gonna have some roti, we're gonna have some rice and curry and it's gonna be awesome. Welcome to Sammy's Corner. So most places like this curry with rice are better for breakfast, but because we already had breakfast, I'm happy that there are still evening places like this for dinner. So we can have some tonight and they also have a drink station. A hot, a hot tea, please, milk tea. One hot tea. Thank you. Besides the tea itself, I mean, yes, it is delicious, and I've lost this every night in KL. I have to have one milk tea, but I just love how they make it. Check it out. Oh, he's an expert. Yes. Can I have it? Bro, yes, please. So, actually, even in just one minute, someone already recommended the biryani to me. So, biryani with chicken, please. Biryani chicken, eh? Yes, please. Okay. What is this fish? Ah, oh, the big one, please. Thank you. Any video or something? And then, uh, dosai. Are you making dosai? Yeah. What is tenor mama? Okay. Yes, the veggie, please. Thank you. So, as I was hanging out here, just within one minute, a lovely Chinese gentleman, not Indian, very cool Chinese gentleman. He said, hey, come over here. I know you're a budget traveler, but I just want to recommend this one is worth spending extra. And I said, no, no, not necessarily budget, but I just I just love this food. He goes, oh, then you're even better. You're in a great book. I have a friend who said the biryani here is very good. Yeah. So. You want one more? Uh, no, we share the biryani and the roti and the uh, dosa. So I just love the feeling of this. Look, I mean, right there, that is Central Mall. Look, right here. But this is happiness right here. Look at this. It's so good. could not be even the slightest bit more happy than with this situation right now. We have everything. We have South Indian food and we have a great situation around us. We have some older gentleman sitting behind Lee, very interested in uh, what she's doing and what we are doing. <laughs> So first things first, I ordered a milk tea. That's also to prevent myself from getting too excited to dig into the food. So you see, I just sip on the tea and just be patient. So Lee, cheers. Lee likes the ice tea, Teo Ice Limau. That's from Malaysia. But this one, I mean, this one is also from Malaysia, but it has its heart, of course, in Southern India. One thing you gotta remember when you visit Malaysia, or southern India is some of this because you are going to be wanting to eat with your hands. You just got to eat with your hands, but yeah, you're going to be cruising around, getting your hands a bit dirty. So, great mm. first. What a feast! So happy! So happy! We made it to India town. This is little India, babe. So again, I got the first taste thanks to the thumbnail. Mm, that fish. Ooh, it's awesomely salty. 
Uh, the the chili on the outside, I don't know if it's a curry paste, awesomely smoky, it is salty. I don't know what type of fish. I did ask him, but I forgot. Mm. And then I got it with some biryani, by the way. So. Mm. So different than the rice we were having earlier. It's so dry and so much spice, so many dry spices into the rice. I taste cloves, I taste some... The cardamom is not so strong, but maybe some cardamom. And then uh, like bay leaves. Not much turmeric, and I guess that's the style of this biryani. I thought usually biryani like requires turmeric, but mm, uh, maybe some cumin. But yeah, the clove flavor is really strong. It's awesome. Ah, we got some chilies in there. Cool, man. So, this is biryani with chicken. We got two pieces of chicken under there. We got a thigh, and we got a chicken egg. Mm. Mm. So light, the rice like this is just so light. Mm. We went really heavy on the seafood for lunch, so I wanted some vegetables. Uh, I'm happy with these. They're pickled. They're gonna do my digestion very well. Let's put some of that on the rice. Got some bean sprouts in there. Got some cabbage. Got some uh, beans, green beans, and then carrots, I think. A little bit of chili. Let's go for it. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, bean sprouts are cool. Slimy, but I love that that type of sliminess. Mm. Mm. That's great. Okay, so, so there's some fried egg in there too. And uh, I think there's some cloves in that recipe also. That's great. The texture is just really tasty to go with the soft, very light rice. There we go. There's some, oh, a pea. Mm. Mm. And as always, love eating with my hands. I could not wait to bring Lee to Kuala Lumpur, not only to eat Malaysian food, but to eat Indian Malay food because I didn't know when the next chance we would, we would have to go to India. So one of my favorite things about KL is not just the Malay food, but all the great Southern Indian food in KL. And it is so authentic. People from Tamil Nadu have moved here for generations, and it's just, it's just amazing. You know, Tamil is even one of the national languages of Malaysia. It's just so cool. So on this trip, we are looking forward to having some Chinese Malay. Have a whole day of that. Definitely another day of India. It is my favorite, my favorite food. And then we're gonna go out of town and have some local Malay food. Just, just so excited but for this first night. I just could not wait to take leave for some Indian food on the street because this is my favorite feeling of Kuala Lumpur. I just love it. Hmm. I finally thought of what it is. I think it's fennel. It's not cumin, it's fennel. Mm. I almost thought you said fennel. Fennel is wrong. Moving over here, I want her to try the dosa or dosai first. Dosai. Mm. What difference is this from roti? You saw him make it. It's, uh, I think the flour is a little bit different. They whip up the batter first so that they can just ladle it and move it onto the hot griddle. Dosa. I think the people who love pancake, mm -hmm. they need to try the India pancake. Wow, they are so soft. They are not so rich like another pancake. Oh. India food really always in the top. Top three, top five are always in the top. 
I thought maybe that bite was coming my way. No. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> nice. It's so fun to eat food like that with the hands, right? You can eat dosa like this if it's plain dosa with other curries, of course, but... Mm. I think dosa might include chickpea in the batter. Maybe chickpea flour or like green gram flour with wheat flour. I'm not sure it's just rice, but... Mm. Do you know what? Whenever you go to a city, yeah. you know, we are next to the KL Central. Yep. That Super big a, mall. They have a restaurant in the corner. Yeah. Nearby the Central, this is a right in front of Central. You know, they have a reason why they can last so long. Oh, okay. You know, such an expensive place. Yep. They can last so long. Flavor. Huh. We had a good feeling. Flavor is the only way they can yeah, yeah, stay yeah. in a such expensive place and then <laughs> still here who knows how many years. And the street food, street food is right on the corner of the street. I really appreciated how Lee was setting up the camera so she was she was just standing on the corner and I walked ahead and almost immediately that Chinese gentleman ran over he said don't don't go back don't go away this place really has some good stuff so that was awesome try this let me get the bones out for you the fish is so interesting how it's just so good it's so good i think there's no more bones yeah yeah oh okay okay it's really they ferment with salt and then put the red curry around. Mm -hmm. With some dosa. <laughs> some dosa. With some dal. Just for dal. Uh -huh. This is very good fish. Mm. The fish are so salty. Oh, that's. Yeah. Do you want some biryani? I'm guessing you're gonna go for it? My first time use finger to eat India. No? Malaysia, India food. Get this on camera. Good job. See, it's fun. First time use finger to eat rice. Right. Hey, you go four fingers, I go five fingers. Oh, you did a good job. You got to keep the fingers a little bit closer together. So that it doesn't fall. You have to know your mm -hmm. fingers bigger than mine. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sitting here. It is fun. Yes. I'm happy my mom and dad is not here. And my mom and dad, they will say, Oh, it's in the table. What are you doing? Just for, um, mm. for us, just like something is not correct to use finger back. Yeah. So far. I'm glad you're getting a little bit of practice because we're going to go for the full banana leaf Indian, South Indian feast very soon. So it's good that you get a little bit of practice first. Uh, for the safety of the yeah. camera. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Here. She didn't scan so that I did. I grabbed the chicken skin and then so I have to give me the chicken meat. Good job. This is awesome. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed, well, first, more importantly, I hope you enjoyed Lee's first time eating with her hands, using, using the most fun utensils that were provided with to eat rice. But I also hope you saw that guy just making roti in the correct way. Oh, I want to cut it, but he just like in one second, he finished all the steps. 
Oh yeah, he, he can make it so fast, I bet, yeah. So, this is the style of roti, I think it might be called parota, parota, or not, it's not parata, it's parota, like we had in South India and in uh, Sri Lanka also. So, so I'm sure this is the same dal over here. Just diving in, I see the leaf, I think it's a curry leaf, yeah, not a bay leaf. Mm, some potatoes, and then a ton of dal, of course, those lentils, so awesome. Mm. That combo. When, when I see questions asking, Joe, what's your favorite food? Or what's your favorite cuisine? I say, I think my favorite food is Indian milk tea. But <laughs> the next step would be something very simple like this. Some type of bread, simple curry, dal works beautifully. I love this food so much. This is my favorite food. Maybe I don't eat it every day. Maybe that helps keep it my favorite food. It's always very special. I just love this. Some roti, some parota, some dal, and some hot chai. Man. You know, this is 1.8. Bring it, 1.8. This one is 2.5. Uh-huh. That is called street food. Mm-hmm. So the tray that I'm eating, I said, is 1.8 ringgit. So that's uh, 218, uh, about 45 cents. 45 cents US. That's like 15 baht in Thailand. Across the street, they're selling Rolexes. I want this. <laughs> One of the coolest things about a big city like this is that mix and that juxtaposition. And like Lee said, the reason that they have been able to compete with the Rolex business is flavor. just that flavor. <laughs> flavor is a key reason why they can last so long. Thank little few drips of sweat. This seems like we've had some really nice weather this week, so I haven't been sweating that much, but I always remember it as K KL, as a really hot town. Tonight, it is not just about this. I was most excited to take Lee for this, but actually Lee was most excited to take us for some selfies with the big twin towers. So we are on the way there. We're gonna walk, work this a little bit. See you soon at the Patronus Towers, also called locally KLCC. We're gonna go pay. I really like hanging out with this guy and I'm sure I'm gonna be back for some late night tea with him very soon. Oh man, these, see, these places are the best. You see that, how friendly? Oh man, what a spot. Okay, yeah. See you at the KL Towers now. KLCC. This is KL Central. We're going to KLCC. The free monorail. The free monorail. So cool. And a place I always love visiting. Don't know how many times I've been here, but KL, maybe if I've been here eight, ten times, I still always want to visit this. That view is just worth it every time. Like, so inspiring. I don't know the designer of this building, but they, their, their concept definitely worked out for this one. I remember when I was 10 or 11 years old, maybe sometime around then, this was the tallest building in the whole world. So, I don't know the artist, but whoever designed it, their concept definitely works to inspire me. Just love it.